Hey guys, so today I want to do a benchmark test here with the iPhone 4s in the middle, the iPhone 4 and DOS iPhone 5 with the final iOS 7. So let's check it out with the Geekbench app. So you can see here, twice the amount of memory, one gigabyte. 500 here, 500 here. Uh, Apple A4, A5, A6, uh, iOS 7 on all these devices. So let's do this. Here we go, getting a score here on the iPhone 5. So, single core, 723 because it's higher clocked than the iPhone 4 and also the 4S. Clocked at 1.3 gigahertz, which is pretty awesome. And the multi-core score here, of course, these add up the two cores because the iPhone 5 as all the other iPhones is not the quad core yet. Because it doesn't really need that so much. There we go. So we're gonna score here also on the on the iPhone 4S. And you can see a very very big difference here between that one and the iPhone 5. I mean triple almost triple the score here in the single core processor. That's pretty interesting. And then the 4S of course is kind of like an iPhone 4 but with an extra core. So that is why it's getting 413 there because it adds those two up. While the iPhone 4 has still to run iOS 7, <clears throat> the performance is not as awesome as an iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5. But remember, it's a very, very old iPhone and it can run the latest software, and that's pretty impressive still. Because that means that you can get a like, good long support from Apple. And 
it's taking way longer here on the iPhone 4. And there we go. So, uh, so as you, you can see here, single core score, very, very identical to the 4S. But then, of course, just because this one is single core, I think um, 800 megahertz. This one could be dual 800 megahertz. And this one was like dual 1.3 gigahertz, if I can remember that correct. Yes. And yeah, this one, A5, 800 megahertz, two cores. So um, I've been making more videos, of course. Um, you can see here in the speed test that there is a large difference between having an extra core. And then, of course, there's some other differences that you can't have like cool dynamic wallpapers on the iPhone 4. As you can see here, uh, floating around in the background. You don't get that cool uh, thing here in transitions or in the control center. It's totally black here. A little bit boring. And then, of course, we do have inside of the control center here. Uh, also big big difference there. It looks so much worse on the iPhone 4 compared to the 4S and the iPhone 5 And some other differences of course is that When we go down like this The keyboard also it just looks so much better on these two devices so uh, And now of course we do have new iPhones that's coming up and that's gonna be very very cool and exciting so uh, Can't wait to see that so uh, just quickly a benchmark look here have a good day.